Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, as you've seen in the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be going over the current state of Honkai Star Wars PvP slash multiplayer slash co-op in 2024. So last year when Honkai Star Wars was still in like version 1.1, I actually went over this topic, right? I made a video called Does Honkai Star Wars Need Co-op slash multiplayer? Now I talked about how Honkai Star Wars at the time at, at least had the perfect foundation to actually have some sort of pvp or multiplayer or something like that and do i think of that sentiment now like do i still agree with that yes 100 percent i even more so now i still think that honkai star World could do something big with pvp but you know that video was a year old now and times have changed a lot in honkai star Wars since the last time i made that video you know we have like double the characters now in that video we have a whole new region uh the story is actually starting to pick up a little bit now right and we we've gotten more end game since i made that video there's been a lot that's changed of course since i made that video so you know what what is the current state of honkai star Wars pvp right or, or, or co-op, I should say. Well, not a lot has changed, you know. <laughs> Back when I made that video, we had just gotten the the, the chat system, the chat feature, right? Uh, you know, where you can send stickers to the people you added. Yeah, we, we, we just got that when I made that video, which means that when Star Wars launched, we didn't even have it. There was no, you, you couldn't do anything with the friends that you made other than user support units, which is kind of weird. But the, the friend limit has also increased a little bit. And I think after they added the chat system, they also implemented the stickers thing as well. So when, they, when you were first able to chat with people, you couldn't even use stickers. I know, crazy. But... Yeah, ever since I made that video, we have been able to send stickers, of course, but also we did end up getting a little bit of co-op, you know, more multiplayer stuff than just being able to chat with people. And of course, I'm talking about the Origami Bird Clash event. Now, is that really PvP? No. You can you can call it PvP. You can, you know, you can uh you can you can be like some YouTubers, you know, joke around in your titles like calling it pvp but at the end of the day it is this is not it is technically pvp but it is not traditional pvp like with combat characters and, and stuff like team versus team you know 4v4 or 4v4 i'm talking like with the characters right you know it's not like your traditional pvp right and I, I, I see people say this, they, they, people bring up this one point every single time I mention PvP in Star Rule, and that's, it would just be overrun by whales. And there is, is such a simple solution to fix the whale issue if Star Rail were to add real PvP. And this, of course, would just be simple balance changes, right? If Honkai Star Rail's PV, if eventual PvP had like, a, like an option where you could modify Adelons, give characters who don't have relics relics or do if they don't have a light cone give them a, a light cone right level up their traces you know with whales it could be like you know you know more realistically they could, it could be like um it could be everyone has the same Eidolon level everyone has the same trace level and at that point it would only matter the who who was more skilled right you could have you a free to play in in, 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 in like a, a goddamn millionaire could could have an absolutely different account entirely different accounts one is all e6 s5s one has you know regular regular account but if there were options that allowed like like modifiers that could you know you could change idol on levels every every character is set to level 80 or whatever something like that could balance out the battlefield and make things evil or evil <laughs> even so that way like i said someone who doesn't even have a penny in their wallet could evenly match up against someone who has dropped trillions on this game right like you could you could go up against the president of the united states himself and still win but something like that would be a pretty simple solution and could definitely work you know this could be like it's options that are toggleable of course so you know if you want to go up against a whale as a free-to-play just raw raw dogging it you know you could go ahead and do that right 
but modifiers and 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 toggleable options and stuff stuff like that could like i said even out the battlefield and make things even so whether you're a whale or a free to play it doesn't matter you know the light cones you know if you have like a character's best in slot light cone that you can still use that to your advantage but like we've we've seen stuff like this in divergent universe if you have a character then if you have a character that's not well built then a lot of the time the the game mode itself will literally assist you so we, we we've seen this in star world before they can do it and you know hoi versus a talented dev team they could go ahead and do something like that anyways but yeah my point is with with a with with a real pvp game mode honkai star world could easily make things even regardless as to your monetary status in the game right so what what is the multiplayer state or the pvp this the state of co-op in honkai star world in 2024 well i think it's lacking obviously but i think something like the origami bird clash event as funny as it is is a step in the right direction you know it this event has proven that honkai star Rail can do some sort or some form of matchmaking or multiplayer you know this isn't this is no longer a strictly single player game you can officially compete i guess with other players in real time which is it, it, it's pretty awesome you know the origami bird clash event actually does open up some doors you know i could totally see people down the line doing like tournament tournament tournaments for it i don't know why i said tournaments three times i had a massive brain fart there you know that but i can see people doing like tournaments for the for the bird event you know stuff like that you know star world could do more with the permanent events right we could get other stuff similar that um to the to the bird event that involves multiplayer in some way you know next patch we're going to be getting the war dance right which i feel like is uh, it's probably going to be one of those permanent events that we've seen in the conventional memoir tab in the events menu right that could be that could be like a straight up like like it, it's most likely going to be a combat themed tournament arc but that could introduce officially pvp into the game we've we've seen not exactly like a 1v1 or 2v2 type thing in star rail ever but we did see kind of a multiplayer event in the game before um before the game was released back in the third closed beta test which was a couple of months before the game came out there was an event that i don't exactly remember much about it but it was a, it was a combat event and it had multiplayer aspects to it right i think it was something similar to raids kind of which could definitely be implemented in a game like star rail since it is multi or turn based I mean, I was going to say it is a multiplayer, and then I was going to say it's not multiplayer, but I mean, technically now it is multiplayer, but I, I, I don't know, dude. I, I mean, that's that's really it for this video. I think I think Star Rail's multiplayer is lack, lackluster. It's, it's definitely lacking for sure, but still in a better state than it was when the game first launched. Since version 1.0, we've gotten the ability to message the people we've we've added in the game we've been able to send stickers to them crazy we're able to see the activity status of our friends like some discord type beat which is actually it's pretty sick i'm not gonna lie we can see the end game stats for our friends as well and of course most most importantly multiplayer related we've gotten the origami bird clash event which is match three it's not real pvp it's fudging match three it's candy crush and honkai star rail but it's it's silly you know it's goofy you even listen to the music it's like it's like the most generic happy music you could possibly hear ever but i think it's a step in the right direction and proves that honkai star rail can in fact do something or some things related to multiplayer now before i end up this video you know do i think that star rail will eventually add straight up multiplayer entirely or co-op or pvp honestly i'd say yes i i i think i think it is planned already i, I definitely see it happening whether it's going to be your characters fight against other characters or some sort of new end game mode where you have to compete at, like the fastest time which we've seen in honkai impact i think it could definitely be something like that for sure and like i said earlier or, or like i said just now honkai impact has 
an abyss game mode where you have to compete with the fastest time or the fastest points i don't remember what it was uh i, I quit hong kong Path once i got to level 81 but yeah that's it for this video i would i'd love to hear what other people have to, have to think about the current state of multiplayer in Honkai Star Rail. Again, it's lackluster, but we've slowly been getting multiplayer aspects and stuff like that in game, right? So I think it is planned. Keep in mind, you know, Hoya versus a team with 5,000 people behind it. They have a lot of this stuff planned in advance. Those those quality of life updates that you get excited for, those that was planned from the start. Honkai Star Rail's, uh, I don't know why I saw, Pan Panacone, okay, Panacone began development half a year before the game even came out. So chances are, Amphorius is probably, the, the next region after Panacone is probably already complete by now. And they probably have a full list of characters that are fully modeled and everything ready to go. So yeah, just uh, keep keep that in mind, you know, whether or not Honkai Star Rail wants to add multiplayer to the game has most likely already been decided. So we just need to we just need to keep playing the game and see if it ever does actually come out or not. But yeah, that's it for this video. I talked a little too long there, but if you enjoyed, I guess, you know, subscribe maybe, but that's it. Bye-bye.